So medical device companies, when they come into our country, we use a framework to help them to position their value and a framework to help them to position their value proposition. And that's called PICO, P-I-C-O, which stands for Population, Intervention, Comparator and Outcome. The first P for population is who needs your medical device? Is it everybody that has cataracts or is it a subsection of patients that, that need cataracts? You know, it depends on uh, the diagnosis of a condition or it could depend on how those patients are treated today. Robotic, open, laparoscopic, um, for example. So population is something we do a lot of work in trying to understand, you know, who would really benefit the most from your technology. So population is the first. Intervention, Everybody knows everything about their intervention. The intervention is the new technology. So having a full understanding of what your technology does is really important and being able to give it uh, a clear positioning within um, the, the market here. The C of PICO stands for comparator. So how are those patients treated today? And what are the impacts of those treatments in terms of to the patient, to the provider and to the payer? You know, how well does um, that comparator work? How many comparators are there? How much do they cost? What impact do they have on the hospital? And then the last part is the O which stands for outcome. And the outcome is the difference between the NHS using your technology on the population versus the standard of care. And what we do at Device Access, we work very much in the P, the C and the O part of PICO. So one of the most important things for companies to think about right at the beginning of the thought process of inventing a new technology is what is the PICO statement for the technology? Who needs it? What happens today? And what is going to be the difference of using the new technology? By understanding those, you can then start to formulate your research and commercial plan into how you're going to prove it and how you're going to fund it and how you're going to price it. So the difference with medtech over pharmaceutical companies is pharmaceutical companies often do health economics and PICO before they actually invent the drug. They want to find out if it's worth making and whether it's commercially viable. And it's a thing that I think that more medical device companies as early on their developmental stage of technology should do. So it's really important that you base your pricing on the value of the technology and not on interviews, not on what the competitors have um, charging for that technology and certainly not on a margin over markup scenario because that is effectively marketing and market access is different.